In the last video, you guys saw that I have come to Jayamangali Black Bug Reserve to film and photograph the black bugs and other species found in the area. Though the area is famous for large population of black bugs, the reserve is also a birding hotspot. Many wildlife enthusiasts come all the way to Jayamangali just for birding. In this video, I will show footages of different birds I found in the area. Also, we discovered a relatively unexplored area where we found a huge number of exclusive birds as well. So, without any further ado, let's get started with the video. As we were driving inside the reserve in search of black bugs, suddenly something caught our eye on the top of the tree. This is a long-tailed shrike. This is a fairly common bird found in most places across the country. It was resting on the top of the tree branch observing our every move. An Indian bush lark, another common species, sat on the top of the wire giving beautiful calls. As we drove further inside the reserve, we saw an extremely camouflaged species on the ground. By the time I could film it, it flew away. The chestnut bellied sand grouse. We continued exploring the reserve. There were few objects moving on our right hand side. These are a trio of yellow wattle lapwing foraging on the ground. As the name suggests, it is characterized by prominent yellow fleshy wattles or fleshy lobes which dangle from the side of its head. These wattles are particularly noticeable during the breeding season. The species is native to the Indian subcontinent and prefers habitats such as grasslands, wetlands, agricultural fields and scrublands. They are often seen foraging on the ground where they feed on insects, worms and other invertebrates. Though these birds are generally shy, these particular birds didn't seem so. They came in front of our cameras and allowed us to shoot for a long time. We also managed to shoot a hoopoe beside these lapwings. Before coming here, we heard a news that the elusive grey-necked bunting was spotted here. So we began searching for that species. And we didn't have to wait much. Right in front of us was that bird on the top of the tree. The grey-necked bunting is a medium-sized bird in the bunting family known for its greyish neck which contrasts with its brownish upper parts and whitish underparts. It also has black streaks on its breast and sides. It is primarily found in the Indian subcontinent and parts of Southeast Asia. This bunting species prefers open habitats with scattered bushes or grasses. It can be found in a variety of environments including grasslands, agricultural fields, fallow lands and scrubby areas. The grasslands of Jayamangali provides an ideal habitat for this species. Though these birds are currently considered to be least concerned by IUCN, they face significant threats from habitat loss, agriculture intensification and human disturbance. Finally, one major target done as we headed back to our hotel to stay the night and return back next morning for an early morning drive. The next morning, as soon as we entered the reserve, we heard bird chirpings everywhere around us. A flock of green bee-eaters were sitting on the wire making loud chirpings. There were at least 50 of them on the wire and they filled the area with their loud calls. Another common species, these are found throughout the country in wide range of habitats. The green bee-eater is a charming and agile bird known for its vibrant plumage and aerial hunting skills. They primarily feed on bees and other flying insects such as wasps, dragonflies, butterflies and beetles. Next we saw a Brahmini starling on top of a small bush enjoying the morning sun. This bird is known for its distinctive appearance. It has glossy black plumage with contrasting white belly and underwings. The most striking feature is its bright orange and yellow bill and legs which stands out prominently against its dark feathers. These are social birds often seen in small to medium sized flocks. However, this particular was alone feeding on ants and other insects for breakfast. Next, our eyes turned on to this beautiful great grey shrike sitting on a tree branch. These are large shrike species with grey plumage with a white belly and black wings, tails and facial mask. 
the bird was keenly observing the area looking for possible breakfast. As we looked onto the ground, we saw a padiful pipit. This is a fairly common bird with long tail, slender bill and pale legs. They are mostly found on the ground and inhabits a variety of open habitats including grasslands, agricultural fields, marshes and rice paddies. Padiphyll pipit generally breeds during the monsoon season, building their nest on the ground in concealed locations such as dense vegetation or tall grass. They feed on insects including beetles, grasshoppers, caterpillars and ants. As we went deeper inside the reserve, we saw a beautiful bird beside the road. This is a bayback shrike, a small sized bird named because of its brownish grey back and wings and contrasting with a buff colored underside. This bird is a resident of the Indian subcontinent and prefers open habitats such as grasslands, scrublands and agricultural areas. This species is often found perched on exposed branches or webs from where it can scan the surroundings for prey. Beside the shrike, there was this Eurasian collared dove on another tree branch. This grey colored dove has a distinct black collar on the nape of its neck which gives it its name. This dove was scanning the area for prey and gave us some beautiful shots. As we drove further inside the reserve, we saw this beautiful blue-tailed bee-eater. This is a colorful bird with green plumage with a turquoise blue tail and a chestnut crown and throat. They have a long and slender curved beak designed for catching flying insects. They are found across a wide range in South and Southeast Asia. These bee-eaters are typically found in open habitats with nearby water sources such as rivers, lakes or marshes. This bird was sitting on the branch and scanning the surroundings for flying prey. As we were watching the bee eater, suddenly we saw a greater kukul crossing the road. This is a shy bird found across the country in areas with dense vegetation including thickets, shrubs and forest undergrowth. They are often seen walking or hopping on the ground using their long tails for balance. This bird gave us few moments to film and slowly went inside the bushes. Above the kukul, there was this beautiful laughing dove perched on the tree branch. It was enjoying the cool morning air blowing in the area. The bird is named so because of his distinctive call which sounds like a soft rhythmic laughter. This call is often heard during the early morning and late afternoon, especially when the birds are perched on trees, wets or rooftops. We stayed in the reserve for around 5 hours. If you want to view these beautiful photographs, do follow me on Instagram at wildlife.captured. The link will be given in the description. As we were heading back, we saw this common wood shrike foraging on the ground. This is a medium sized bird with a striking appearance with a combination of black, white and grey plumage. Common wood shrikes are often found in dense vegetation including wooded areas, forest edges and secondary growth. It gave us few moments to capture and swiftly moved away. While we were leaving the reserve, we saw this pair of yellow wattle lapwings again. This time we went closer to the species. Since we are inside the car, the bird couldn't detect our movement and allowed us to go near. I guess they are used to seeing cars inside the reserve. It is very difficult to approach these birds by foot as they are pretty shy. While there are no major threats to its population currently, habitat loss and degradation due to agricultural expansion and urbanization could impact its future survival. We also saw a few raptors while living. One of them is this beautiful pallid harrier. And a common kestrel as well. While returning, we decided to visit Talakere, a lake which is 30 minute drive from the reserve. We heard from few of our friends that this is a good birding spot, so without any expectation we headed towards the location. The location was spectacular, big trees on a huge grassland with no sight of people around made the location surreal. On the way to the lake bed, we saw this beautiful trio of Indian silver wheels. 
they are native to the Indian subcontinent and parts of Southeast Asia. They have a distinctively silver gray plumage with darker streaks on the back and wings. They were chilling on the tree branch and doing their morning preening routine. Finally, we reached the lake bed and boy oh boy, what a gem of a place it was. The area was full of bird chirpings. Here are a few snaps of birds we found in this area. With this, our trip to Jayamangali ended. If you guys like this video, please click the thumbs up icon and subscribe to my channel if you haven't had. Hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos from Wildlife Captured. Goodbye for now and see you in my next adventure.